Cassie here. So a lot of you ask me, how do I flatten my lower abs? Well, it is a big problem area for a lot of people because fat tends to collect there and I've compiled some of the best moves for lower belly flattening. So all I need you to grab today are a pair of paper plates if you're on a carpet or if you're on a linoleum floor, a wooden floor, go ahead and grab some rags. Really good way to clean the house, by the way. And remember, you will give me your 110% because why? We're going to train like a beast to look like a beauty. Let's go. All right, so you want to place each of your feet on top of these plates, just your heels actually. Hands behind your butt, fingers facing forward. You're going to inhale through your nose. On the exhale, you're going to reach those legs out and come into a reverse plank. Make sure your hips are all the way up. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is do a plate pullback. So you're going to squeeze your lower abs and you're going to pull those, that hip underneath yourself and then push it all the way back out. Uh huh, you feel the lower abs? I bet you do. This is such an amazing move. And we're going to come back. And you're going to push forward. This is extremely difficult. So do not be discouraged if you feel like you can't really do it yet. Just go back as far as you can. If you can't bring your butt all the way behind your elbows, no worries. Just do the best that you can. This is also going to take a lot of upper body strength as well. But hey, if you want those nice flat lower abs, you will. Work super hard for them, right? And also, I always preach this in all of my videos, it's not just going to be the lower ab moves that are going to get you that flat stomach. What you're going to have to do is eat clean. You know, get rid of those processed sugary fried foods. You know that. Drink your water and do your cardio. Do your cardio because no matter how awesome your ab muscles look, it's never going to show if it's under a layer of fat. So, be careful about what you eat. Eat clean. Do your cardio and just work out with me a lot. So you want to try like Bikini Blaster 1, um, any of the Bikini Blaster videos really, anything to get your heart rate pumping or pop cardios, heart cardio, summer sweat flex, summer sweat fest is pretty good. Nice. Woo! Okay, I am feeling it for sure. Three more, let's go. Three, and out, hips up, and two, bam, and up, last one, okay? Let's pull it back and reach it up. Lower that booty to the floor. Woo! I felt that. Go ahead and roll out your wrist. Now, we're going to flip it over and get the lower abs and the obliques at the same time. Like a double whammy move. We're going to bring our bottom leg into the opposite plate, okay? And then that top leg in the other plate. So check it out. You're like crisscrossed, right? You're going to squeeze your abs and then you're going to pull it in, butt up and down. Exhale, up and down. Really attacking the lower abs, really attacking that oblique. And lower. Nice job. Exhale, reach and down. How do you feel? You working hard? Are you sweating? Is your heart rate up? I want you to push, guys. I know you've got it in you. I know these are hard, but you can do it because I believe in you. Okay? Keep going. Reach. And out. All the way up. Oh, you are going to so feel these tomorrow. And reach. A couple more. And two. Last one. Come on. Pull those abs in. Reach it. And all the way up. Woo! Those are really crazy. Okay, we're going to go on to the other side. So again, coming into that plank, okay? Cross those legs, squeeze your tailbone, squeeze your abs. Let's do these with passion. Here we go. And reach it up and press. Nice job. Reach up and press. And in. Good job, guys. Come on. Reach and lower. Exhale up. Man, this is like part of your move. I'm like so breathing hard. Nice work. Reach in and out. How are we doing out there? You guys okay? I think you're just fine. Reach and lower. Come on. Exhale up and down. Wow, strong shoulders being built right now. Lift and down. And give me three more. Three and two. 
One more. And one. And bring those legs all the way up. Drop it down. Ooh, how do you feel? That's pretty good, right? Okay, place those. Place aside. We're now gonna go into a seated crisscross. So, what I want you to do is place both hands behind the nape of your neck, just like so, reaching the legs out into tabletop position. Now you're gonna move opposite elbow to opposite knee, just like that, and extend the legs, okay? So, exhale, exhale. Very good. Really attacking the quads, the lower abs, the transverse abdominals, the obliques. Reaching the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee, pointing the toes. Good work. Come on, reach, reach. Extend that leg. I want to see you go straight. Good form, perfect posture. Crown on top of your head. You don't want to drop it, so sit tall like a swan, like a dancer. Shoulders away from your ears, spine tall. Go ahead and give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, one. And bring those legs long, hands all the way up, and slowly roll down with control. Now we're gonna end with some classic Pilates moves that double leg lift is the ultimate for your lower abs. So we have to do it if this is gonna be the best lower abs video. So, both hands behind the nape of your neck, elbows wide, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Very nice. Bring those legs all the way up, keeping your shoulders off of the mat, heels pressed together, toes pointed. You're going to inhale down. Good, exhale, lift. Make sure that low back is pressed into the mat. Okay, no hollow backs here. If your back is going up, which is very natural for a lot of beginners, go ahead and place your hands behind your butt, head down, just like that. Good work. So inhale down, exhale, lift. Try to keep those legs straight. If you're a beginner, slight bend is okay. Good work, come on. Inhale down. Exhale, lift, strong lower abs. We are building them right now. Keep going, lift and lower. Exhale, lift. Come on, as low as you can. How are you guys doing? Are you killing it out there? Yeah, I bet you are, I bet you are. Keep going. Why are we training hard? Because you gotta train like a beast to look at the beauty. Mm -hmm. That's the word that we live by. Keep those shoulders wide, those elbows wide. Keep breathing. Why am I doing 10 million? Because I know you can too. Keep going. Okay, just five, let's do this. Go down five, inhale, exhale, up, inhale, down four, and reach, come on, and three, leg straight, two, last one, one. Bring those knees into your chest, drop the head for one quick second, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth, lift up into that Pilates stance. We're gonna end with flutters, both hands behind the nape of your neck, elbows wide, reaching those legs long. Here we go. Kick those heels together, lifting your shoulders up. Again, if your head hurts or your low back hurts, head down and hands underneath your butt, just like this, okay? Protect that back if you're not strong enough to pull that core into your spine. Okay, but I'm going back up. We're gonna do it. Last. 20, here we go. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, die. Uh, oh man, that was so good. Wow. Okay, guys, great job. I hope you really enjoyed that lower ab routine. Go ahead and repeat it as many times as you want, as long as you're keeping proper form. So a lot of people ask me how many times should I work out? I work out about five to six times a week, an hour each time. If it's your first time trying Pilates, maybe try two to three times a week, an hour each time to really see that improvement in your posture, in your strength building of your abs and your core and everything, okay? If you have any questions for me, feel free to tweet at Blogilates and um, just because I know you're gonna ask, 
This shirt is available on ogorgeous.com. The link is in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Awesome job. Be sure to share this workout with a friend or just call someone over to do it with you. All right, I love you so much. Bye. Now, I told you in my Facebook post and um, on my blog, I was going to tell you something that I couldn't tell you the other week, but now I can. So I'm going to tell you right now. Um, so I have a really big announcement. And